So now we'll revisit the other example that we looked at um, for unit tangent vectors, and this time we'll continue on to the normal vector. Okay. So just to recap, R prime, is, we have 2t minus 1, 2t plus 1. The unit tangent vector, we divide this by the magnitude, and remember the magnitude here is the square root of 8t squared plus 2. Okay, so we get 1 over the square root of 8t squared plus 2 times 2t minus 1, 2t plus 1. Okay, so the next step is to calculate the derivative. And you can either leave that in and kind of do your quotient rule thing on either one, I guess, or you could use the, the scalar multiple version of the product rule, which I find is maybe a little bit nicer. Um, okay, so to calculate t prime, okay, we'll do the derivative of, of this bit out front. So minus 1 half 8t squared plus 2 to the minus 1 half times 16t, okay, times 2t minus 1, and then 2t plus 1. But then we also want to have 1 over square root of 8t squared plus 2 times the derivative here, which is going to be 2, 2, right? Um, and, and so notice that, you know, I, I think I mentioned that this unit normal vector, and we're not quite at the unit normal vector, but, you know, that there's some relationship with the second derivative, and you can see the acceleration is here, right? But there's some other stuff going on as well. Um, okay, so let's, um, let's have a look. What do we have here? Um, okay, sorry, this should be minus 3 halves. Right, there we are, okay. Um, so we have... Uh, we can cancel that 2, get an 8. We've got um, minus 1 over this square root, 8t squared plus 2 cubed. If we multiply the 8, um, let's leave it here for now, minus 8t. Uh, 2t minus 1, 2 plus 1. And then we have 1 over the square root of 8t squared plus 2 times 2, 2. So this time, um, you know, we've got our work cut out for us if we want to calculate the magnitude. Um, let's, let's see if we, can, if we can make sense of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull out um, not just one square root here. I'm going to pull out that square root cubed, which means um, over here, I'm going to have to multiply top and bottom by the square root squared, which is just the 8t squared plus 2. Okay. And so now let's see what that leaves me with. I've got minus 16t squared and then plus t when I take this multiply by the minus 8t then minus 16t squared minus 8t and now I'm going to add on um, this vector 16t squared plus 4 and then 16t squared plus 4 Okay, um, so that actually, it, it helps a bit, right? Because um, when you combine these, those cancel. So I have 8t plus 4, and then I have minus 8t plus 4. Okay, there we are. 
And all right, so I'm a little bit out of space, but if we wanted to get now the, the unit normal, right, this is the, supposed to be the normal vector, the unit normal, um, we need to normalize. Now, here's the thing. When you're getting the normal vector, you have a scale factor out front. Like, you can completely ignore it, right? Because you're going to divide by the magnitude. It's going to go away. Uh, we really just need to focus on the magnitude of, of this bit here that's left. Um, and in fact, to make life even easier, pull out a 4. 2t plus 1, 2t plus 1. Okay. Um, so if I'm doing the magnitude of that vector, 2t plus 1, Oh, sorry, and then it's minus 2t plus 1, right? That's a little bit easier to deal with. That's going to be the square root of um, 2t plus 1 squared. Oh, this is, you know, we've done this calculation before, right? Um, it's going to be that same, probably by coincidence, that same, same result, right? That same square root pops up, right? And so, so what we get then for the normal vector in this case, and where can we put it? Well, let's put it here. The unit normal is going to be then 1 over the square root of 8t squared plus 2, 2 times um, 2t um, plus 1, and then minus 2t plus 1. Um, that's what we get for our unit normal. Um, let me see. Does it work out? Do we get orthogonality? If I, uh, if I dot these two together, don't worry about the magnitudes. Um, let's see. We get um, 4t squared minus 1 minus 4t squared plus 1. Yes, dot product is 0. So we got it to work, right? Uh, a little bit uglier this time, a little bit messier this time, but it works out in the end.